Hey there, I'm Scott. Welcome back to my home and my kitchen. You know, over the last few weeks, I've had emails from three different viewers asking me to prepare my recipe for buffalo wings. I guess it has something to do with the fact that we're nearing the end of summer and right on the cusp of football season, so I'll be happy to. I'm actually going to show you two recipes today. One's going to be for a traditional buffalo uh, wing style, and also for my particular uh, recipe that I came up with for sweet and spicy Asian wings. They're really delicious and a real crowd pleaser. Um, both of the wings go great with a nice bottle of beer. So let's get started. What I'm doing is I'm starting off with 10 pounds of chicken wings. I'm gonna take the 10 pounds, and we're gonna divide them into five pound portions, one for the buffalo wings and one for the Asian style wings. Um, I have a deep fryer here set on 375 degrees filled with peanut oil. The oil is nicely hot. I also have a pan uh, with a wire rack in it and a pair of tongs. If you don't have a wire rack, line your baking sheet with a piece of aluminum foil. And if you're not using an automatic deep fryer, uh, use a six, uh, six quart um, enamel cast iron Dutch oven filled with peanut oil. It works just as great. Go to my fried chicken recipe and you'll see how we actually do that um, to fry the chicken. It works, it works just as well. So what I'm going to do is, in little portions, and probably, I don't know, um, probably 10 to 12 wings per basket full. We're going to put those in the fryer and let them fry, I would say about eight minutes. We're going to keep an eye on them. We just, the key to this is really making sure that the chicken gets done. So I'm going to let these go for eight minutes um, and in the meantime we'll start putting the sauces together. So I'm going to drop these into the oil. And there they go. Okay, to get started on the first sauce, it's going to be the Asian, the Sweden style Asian sauce. Um, it takes about 20 minutes on the stove because it's going to boil for a little while to reduce. So what I have is a nice size um, saucepan on the heat. I'm just heating that up slightly. And here are the ingredients that you'll need for the Asian style um, chicken wings. So I'm going to start by adding the one cup of orange juice, the one cup of pineapple juice, and the juice of one lime. Here I have the one tablespoon of the orange zest, very important flavor component in this, and the one tablespoon of the freshly um, minced ginger, the one tablespoon of the garlic powder, the green onions, about half a cup, Going to need about a quarter of a teaspoon of sesame oil. I'm actually using a hot pepper sesame oil. Um, it just adds a little bit of heat to it, but if you don't like it too hot, just go with a regular sesame oil. The one quarter cup of the mirin will go in. And that's a rice cooking one. You can find it in the Asian section of your grocery store. And we're going to add our one quarter cup of the soy sauce. I'm using an aged soy sauce. Any soy sauce that you prefer um, will be just great. Low sodium works just as well, too, if you're watching the sodium in your diet. So a quarter cup of that. Then we have our half cup of the sugar, which is going to add a really nice sweet flavor to it. And the one teaspoon of the crushed red pepper flakes go right in. It's going to add a nice heat to it. And then I have the chopped cilantro and the sesame seeds standing by. Those are going to go over for garnish at the end. So what I'm going to do is just keep this over the heat, stirring occasionally. It's going to come to a boil. We want it to boil for about 18 to 20 minutes. It's going to reduce by about half, and that's exactly what you want. We're about halfway through um, the eight minutes on cooking this batch of chicken wings. I just wanted to let you know, you know, you need to stir these occasionally um, with tongs just to make sure that the chicken skin doesn't start to stick to the side of your cast iron or the side of your fryer. So the chicken wings are all done. I'm just going to get them out of the grease, shake them over the grease, let them uh, drain just a little bit. If you're doing this in a cast iron pot, use a spider, one of those big mesh things to lift the chicken out, let it uh, drain just a little bit, and then right onto your lined baking sheet, and we'll get ready for the next batch. 
An important thing to note is um, in between additions of the chicken, you want for your grease to come back up to the 375 degrees just to ensure that they're going to cook properly. And as you can tell, we're not breading these chicken, um, the chicken wings at all. That's actually a traditional way to prepare buffalo wings and the Asian style sweet and sour wings that we're doing um, in addition. The uh, oil temperature just came up where I needed at 375. I'm going to drop this basket in and uh, get started on the next sauce, which will be the buffalo sauce. I also want to let you know that if you're going to be um, preparing these in advance, you can fry off all the chicken wings, um, put them in a 225 degree oven, hold them until you're ready to serve them, and mix them with the sauces right before your guests arrive. The Asian sauce is coming along nicely. It's boil boiling, so I've turned the heat down to about a medium. What I'm going to do is start with one cup of melted butter in my saucepan. And to that, and this is an important ingredient, it's called Frank's Hot Sauce. You can find this in the supermarket. Um, I'm going to add this directly to our hot butter. And this is one and a half cups of the Frank's Hot Sauce to one cup of melted butter. To that, I'm going to add one tablespoon of the garlic powder and two tablespoons of sugar. Get that back on the heat. We're going to stir to combine it and let that sugar dissolve. Then you can turn the heat off and we'll mix those with the, the wings once they're done. Cooking. Third and final batch in and then we're going to go over and make the quintessential condiment for buffalo wings and that's a blue cheese dressing. So let's get started on that. For the blue cheese dressing, it's really delicious. Um, you're going to need half a cup of mayonnaise, the best mayonnaise you can find, half a cup of sour cream, you need a tablespoon of um, garlic powder, and four ounces are about half a cup of crumbled blue cheese. Stir to combine this, and this is actually really great as a salad dressing as well. And you can thin it out slightly by adding just a little bit of milk at a time until you get the um, consistency you want. The sweet and sour Asian sauce has been boiling for just about 20 to 25 minutes. You can tell when it's done when you drag your spoon through the bottom just like this and you see a line after it. Sort of a nice syrup consistency. So that's perfect. Let's see how they get plated up. Our last batch finished up in the fryer. What I'm doing now is just dividing the wings um, by sight into two large bowls. This is where we'll mix the sauces with them. Alright, we have our Asian sauce right here. I'm going to pour this right over our chickens that you can see. So with some tongs, I'm just going to get in here and coax all that stuff together. Make sure all the chicken wings get nicely covered. And like I said earlier, if you were making these for a party, you could go ahead and fry off all of your chicken wings put those in a 225 degree oven and hold them and then right before your guests arrive, uh, toss them and set, set them onto your serving plates. And now for our uh, buffalo wings, I have our buffalo sauce right here. They're gonna go right in, stir it just to combine all the butter. And that's gonna go right over the top. Toss them and I'm gonna serve the rest of that on the side if needed. Okay, so to plate up the buffalo wings, what I've done is taken a nice large size plate. I put a bowl with some uh, chopped up, or celery sticks, a bowl with our uh, blue cheese dressing, and then line the buffalo wings right down the center so people can dip them and have a crunchy uh, celery stock delicious. For the Asian ones, I put those on a long plate. I'm going to take some sesame seeds, go right over the top with those, and then some chopped cilantro. Get a nice healthy dose of that. The green looks really nice on it too. And there you have it, two versions of chicken wings, both delicious, both real crowd pleasers. Any football fan or tailgater would love to come in and see these at your next uh, football party. So thanks so much for watching and please feel free to email me about this particular recipe or if you'd like to see a recipe prepared for you. My email address is scottindenver at msn.com. I would love to hear from you. Alright, take care. Have a good day. Bye.